everybody. Uh, you can probably tell from looking, we did clean the uh, building out. I rid of all the trash uh, for the most part. Uh, forgot to record any of that unload and started taking the windows out and didn't record that either. So what we got is this old double window that was screwed shut. We're going to take out and we've got a, what size I said it was? 40, a four foot by five foot window that's going to go here. One big window. Uh, so going to rip this one out and then we're going to frame in an opening for the other. That's what we're doing now. And if, if it's not evident enough, you can tell we're not professionals at this. Uh, here you see us uh, basically demoing the old window uh, frame and all. So we can make the opening for the new window match the size it should. Now on to the inside, we have to remove the drywall under the window to access the studs, uh, which we will have to cut off and open the opening of the window to the proper size. Uh, we have changed our mind on the layout of the window where we were gonna go narrow and tall. We have decided to go wide uh, and shorter. So when you see the window installed, it will actually look sideways, which we decided to do uh, to give us a little better view. Uh, and later we're gonna mount an air conditioner under the window so it gives us a little more room to work with there. <clears throat> and also will give us the ability to slide the window open sideways, kind of like a service window sort of feel if we ever have the need for that. So what we've got going on here is a, a little measuring and removing of the old studs and, and rebuilding to fit the window.
I know watching it, it seems odd to make such a large opening in the wall to go back in and put more studs back in place, uh, basically building it bigger and then making it smaller. But the window we have is a new construction window. So it's got a flange all the way around that you have to screw into the wall. Uh, so basically had to make a frame large enough for the flange to fit in so we could secure the window in the opening. So what we're doing here is adding some one by four and two by four to the top, bottom and sides to give us our opening for the window. Uh, we did decide to offset the window in the opening because on the, the left hand side will be a two foot countertop uh, for all of the cup turners and that way the window isn't overhanging the countertop. Uh, the countertop will stop about where the window starts. Uh, but here you see we've dropped the window in our opening and to everyone's surprise it actually fit and was level. Uh, but now we've got the window in, window secured, uh, and Jordan is removing the old siding so we can put uh, the new metal siding up. Um, new metal siding going up. We did not record because it's the first time we've ever done any. Uh, you'll see here in a minute, we'll just jump to a picture of it installed. Uh, and quite honestly, it was, uh, it was not entertaining to watch. It was ugly. Um, we've done a couple of pieces now. Uh, so when we get around to the side of the building, when we go to do it, we'll film a little more of doing the, the metal install. Uh, but for right here, you just can see where we've put our metal. That metal is going to wrap that bottom lip uh, three feet all the way around the building. The last time we were out here working, we got the window in, uh, got our metal along the bottom. Today, we're going to try to go ahead and fill in the, the gaps around the window and trim it out. We're going to do uh, probably a one by six trim around the window one by four trim around the door and hopefully it comes out all right. And you see we have the trim around the window and the door, uh, the metal to the left of the door done. It was a little easier than on the under the window. So like I say, we'll get better. We'll show some of that process. Um, and we have, as you can see in the top of the picture, uh, the um, roof was just open. We had some insulation hanging, uh, joists, the bottom of the roof, everything showing. So took one stretch of metal, uh, made some little braces running from the, the wall up to the front of the porch overhang and uh, just screwed one solid piece of metal all the way across that to, to cover all the old insulation and, and stuff like that hanging down. Uh, only thing I am gonna change from this, I am gonna add some trim around the bottom of the window. We didn't wanna put any over the metal, but screw in more holes into the metal. So uh, I think I've got a way figured out to do that without tearing our metal up too much. So I am gonna add some trim on around the bottom of the window. Um, uh, see y'all next time.